hi there everyone Josie here from life at 50 and beyond thanks for joining me here again my channel and as promised I am going to be showing you how I am using my new a5 floral recollections planner full price is $29.99 and 50 with 50% 50 coupon I only paid $14.99 I have done an initial um, prep on this one starting off with my charms and they complement very well okay, so this is the beautiful planner I'm keeping this because it's kind of sort of a protection the rings can leave some kind of dents or marks so when I have opened up this one I mentioned that I will be using it for budget and bill binder I actually had been prepping already for 2017 I showed you my 2016 it had some calendars for 2016 but my original plan was just to remove the inserts put in new ones and then about two weeks ago I said it's an A5 because of it's easier to handle it's easier to bring uh, in different places of the house so that I can also interact with my family and and oftentimes I show my husband and daughter anyway where we're at financially so we all kind of work together in achieving our goals when it comes to our financial future so since I'm doing this as uh, an, in an A5 I think it'll be easier for me again to maneuver but I am duplicating things some of the things that really work for me on my big binder and hopefully this one would work out one thing that I am doing again is this the annual bill schedule which I also showed and walked you through on my bill binder for 2016 and all I did here is just kind of trim it a little bit because it's a uh, letter size and I wanted to make it kind of like measured evenly like this one because what I'm gonna try to do is use this one here which I've used on first planner video that I have uploaded was my shabby chic I don't know if it's really an A5 sort of an A5 planner that I use for almost everything in the aspect of my life and I did that back in I think in May or June what I've done here is I've added a washi here and just punch in some holes six holes to align here and the reason why I cut some slits is that because I would need to kind of move this around you know and it's easier rather than opening closing the, the rings right so I'm gonna be slipping it here I purchased this by the way in one of the Asian shops uh, in a city nearby and that's why it's hard to really tell you where I got it but if you can find anything similar or if you want to make your own file insert folder you can do that but this has one two three compartments okay and I like that it's floral so it kind of works well in this one so I'll just put it back here now this is the budget binder that I purchased from Michaels as well this is a recollections brand and I was originally going to remove all the pages and then cut this because I don't want to write on my binder and then put some strain on the rings and then it's one of the causes of gaps or gapping in the rings so instead of doing that because it's gonna be a little tough to write like this what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be removing it every time I prepare our budget because on my big binder I remove the pages that I'm working on anyway I find it just easier that way but for this one I can just because I kind of trained it a little bit to lay flat and then I will just work my budget this way and then when I'm done I can just slip it in here again okay now on that haul that I showed you a few days ago daughter purchased me the calendar set which of course I have shown on that haul and it matches this binder I do need a calendar system here but not this extensive calendar if I were gonna be using this as a daily planner fine this will work but it's so thick as you could see and I'm still gonna put some paper here that pertains to our budget and bill payment so I don't really want to use this for that budgeting is really personal for each and every one of us I can share as much as I can on my channel but not the sensitive information or the personal information so and I know that you don't ex really expect me to do that but I can give you kind of like an overview right now the basics I think the standard um, things that anyone would have to categorize stuff but there are things that do not apply to others that apply to some people 
you know so just just follow whatever works for you or you can actually do a white out and just change it if you want to the monthly budget savings current month starting balance ending balance okay and and here is where you have all your expenses categorized mortgage for some of you maybe rent electricity gas water garbage vehicle payment vehicle insurance gas transportation groceries phone cable internet loan payment entertainment personal medical pet credit card emergency fund so all the bills yeah. like I said it's gonna work if you're just averaging things here like um, the total for each month and then here on this page there's also again a header starting balance ending balance uh, goal description goal date dollars to save monthly and this is about when you are actually trying to save money and how you will show how you save money because here you're going to tally the total of your expenses and then this is your final balance for your savings because the final balance shows income checking deposits actual bills actual savings deposits and ending balance it, it mimics the one that I kind of work on on my binder so I know it's gonna work now the spending tracker here I'm gonna be using this for my bill payment As a family we're combining our incomes for with our needs and it works out so far so, you know, it works better that way um, so we pull our resources together to use and then I track them all I'm you know my husband isn't really good at tracking <laughs> bills and my daughter of course is learning from me my pet peeve on this one is that the amount has a bigger or wider column than the item which I find very odd because sometimes the item you would have to write more letters right um, than the amount the amount can fit here even if you put if of course it's an exaggeration even if you spend a million dollars it will still fit all the zeros here so I really don't understand so if anyone from recollections or Michael's listening I think you should interchange the two the wider one would be the item and then the amount would be smaller spending tracker which will also be itemizing our bills as well uh, those are what I categorize as um, planned expenses meaning because I know they're coming up I know when they're exactly gonna come up so that I can pay them but there are also unplanned expenses For example if we plan on going on a on a staycation but we didn't plan on our car breaking down right so that's unplanned so I'm gonna put it here as well these two columns are good for two they I think they've allotted enough for two pay period in at least that works for our pay periods in our home there are 52 weeks there are a couple of months in this year that have three pay periods somehow because of the way the weeks work so I think one is either in April or May and then the other one is I think in August or September but all I'm gonna do is just photocopy this and then slap it in for that month and that's gonna work out now I like this one here 10 ways to save today so for example based on our expenses what do we need to cut out this is something also that I have in a different format from my bill binder that I have like a set of things that I want to target like for example my goals for this month so uh, it has a goal here section and then ideas on how to save but there are 10 ways to save as well like for example I can put here do more freezer meals so that we will lessen to eat out right so yeah so there are a lot of ways last year we've saved a lot because we've converted to solar panels things like that so I just wanna have another target for this year that will cut down our expenses okay so it just repeats for every month and this is $5.99 regular price again use your coupon now for the to-dos here are more places where I can brainstorm with my husband and also my daughter as we try to save and also pay off our existing loans time you know we want to put in all our to-dos here personally and then separate them and kind of work it out brainstorm how we're going to be able to work out our budget
And the grid system here works well, especially if you have numbers. So for example, I want to calculate something, although I have my calculator handy with me, I still want to put here some kind of a tracking mechanism and the grids will work. So I will probably use this as a tracker, uh, which bills we're paying off, and then I can just shade them as we pay them off. And then here, just a place for notes and probably a little additional scrap paper. And you'll never know when you'll find them handy. And this is the perpetual calendar here, which I really love that they have incorporated on this A5. So year after year, you, what you can do is just uh, use this. You know, you just uh, keep this and then just replace the inserts. So what I'm going to do here is just put on the special dates, for example, birthday, so that I can see beforehand, oh, I'm going to spend some money for gifts. What are What's happening for that month? And like on my traveler's notebook, I will have this instead of, because I only need the monthly view. That's the reason why I am not using this, by the way. And I'm, I'm sorry if uh, some of you may be disappointed. But again, this is not my regular go-to planner. It's my Webster's Pages that is my go-to planner. So I just don't want to waste that. And I appreciate my daughter's gift for me, but she's been telling me that she can return it and maybe buy me something else. And this one is just a buck, a dollar. And what's good about this is just it shows you also uh, not only 2017, but you, it will allow you to forward plan or plan ahead for 2018. And it's only a dollar. And what I like about this one, although it's not the exact color, it has florals too. I can just remove when I need to look at the months and then I can just slip it in here or maybe here, you know, if I want to get it out of view. For the secretarial pockets and also some pockets here, this is where I put the important bills that I really, really need to pay attention to. The monthly calendar, the only times that I'm going to mark there are my, my pay days or our pay days and also the dates that are not consistent every month that we pay for. I'm using this pouch that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's in their makeup and hair section and uh, it's called the metallic clutch I, and it comes in a blue metallic blue and a metallic pink and I think this one matches well so this is where I'm going to be putting uh, you know if I want to put my small calculator or carry my iPhone here because I use my iPhone to calculate but I like color coding like this this one comes in a set of two from Daiso for $1.50 uh, this is a 0.7 millimeter Again, a pack of two for a dollar fifty, so it's like seventy-five cents each. It has different colors like the green, black, red, and blue. So if you want to uh, color code, this will be perfect, and you don't have to carry a lot of pens. So you just slip it in here, and that's probably for the most part what I'm going to be doing. I like saving money, especially if I'm talking about budgeting. <laughs> Now, like I said, I use my iPhone, so instead of me carrying or lugging around my iPhone uh, separately, then I can put it here too, because there's enough space for that. I just put the strap, or the handle, whatever you call this here, so that when I carry it, I don't really need to put a, a band. I just carry it this way, so that they're together. You can put it in here, and that would make them go together. Yeah, but for me, I'd rather keep it out. I don't want it to be too bulky. So I'll just keep it out. Keep it light, not too heavy, so that you don't put extra strain on your binder. If you want to tie it up, the Dollar Tree sells uh, a pack of six. Sometimes there are a pack of eight for just a dollar. So, But this one is the plain, and it, it matches the color of the flower here so if you just want to keep it together so if you want to do it this way that's fine too I think that that works out too if you want to keep it together but I don't really need it I'm just showing you another option in case you have a pouch that's that doesn't have a handle my budget binder system is just simple enough for us to follow through I hope I have inspired you to do the same and if you want to click like on this video that'll be great it will help me a lot and if you want to comment down below perfect also please comment down below and share this video to whoever you think may benefit from the things that I have kind of showed or put together here thanks for joining me please click subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and hope you enjoy the rest of the winter and have a great wonderful new year bye bye